Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Carla, also known as Little the Devil, and today I have CVV's newest releases for this month. I am going to be reviewing the CVV Circulus and the CVV Silk Oak. Now, I'm going to make sure that I can get through with this review without anybody continuing their construction work. I swear I try to go everywhere and there's noise everywhere. So bear with me if you hear a little bit of noise in the background. Also bear with me because I got dental work. So my mouth is half asleep, but I could not miss reviewing these knives for you. So be kind. <laughs> now let's start with the circulus. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick unboxing here. Uh, I never really do this. I usually open the knives before I do the review, but I like to keep it real. So let's see what we got. I'm um, really excited about this one. As always, CVV includes stickers. They're beautiful. Warranty and product info. A cute little CVV cloth. And yes, this is not going to disappoint. I already know it. Okay, so the Circulus is probably named after the circles on the handle. I think this is amazing. I mean, hello. So let's see, I'm looking for the sheath as well, which is right here. Let's not forget about that. And I can't wait to show you this. Okay, so this one is a design by Ostap Hell, which I really appreciate his designs. He does a lot of work for CVV. If you don't know him, check out his other designs. But, okay, let me see what I, let me tell you what I got here. We got a necklace beaded style. We got the actual circulus knife. And this is a, what I would call a neck knife, but it, don't, it also has a pocket clip on the sheath. So you can probably use for multiple um, different carry options. This one would go in here as so. Cooks in there. And then you would add the lanyard. Hold on, hold your horses, because I have to struggle through some stuff, and this is why I try to open things before. Okay, there it is. And again, the cool thing about these kind of uh, beaded necklaces is that you can shorten them if you need to, so you can cut it to get to the right size for you. This one's kind of long for me. It wouldn't probably be covered by most shirts. But the plan with these knives, before I talk about the knife, let's kind of carry it. You deploy from underneath. See, amazing. And you need to like pull with like, as if you believe what you're doing, you know? Um, again, really sweet design. I love that. You can really, um, let me show you actually the pocket clip now. And then we'll talk specs. Okay, pocket clip I like. So what you could do um, is you can carry this on your belt. You can carry it horizontally if you'd like. So I've seen some people carrying it like that. You deploy like this, or you can also put it in as a boot knife, which is a really good option. I would probably neck carry it. I think it's really neat. You guys, this is lightweight. The weight of the knife is 1.1 ounce. It's amazing. I really love it. It's like, it's not even there. Um, okay, let's talk. The length is about five inches, which I think it's great as well. Guys, look at this cute little knife. I love it. It has jimp in here on blade area. It has a little jimp in here on the handle area it has this like four circles which i think it's actually kind of cool um if this would have been like a flat all plain knife then you kind of you would miss the design a little bit i actually think it adds to the ergos of the handle it makes it less slippery in my opinion so i think that's actually a good feature the lanyard it's cool it has the c for civivi or carla <laughs> wow this is a really cool one you guys and this one actually like retails for $64. This one is a must have. Okay, let's talk specs a little bit again. Fixed blade, we already know that. The blade material is a 10 CR 15 CO MOV, budget friendly um, quality steel for this kind of knife. I think it's absolutely perfect. What else do we have? Uh, the bead material is actually titanium. That's really neat feature. That's really cool actually. And it comes with a black kydex sheath with a stainless steel clip and the beaded necklace perfect if you guys are looking for a cool neck knife that is not heavy this one would be a good one for you guys i love you know i always have this with neck knives i feel like either they're too heavy 
or they are too bulky i kind of feel like this one would be perfect especially you know with the kind of shirt that i'm wearing i'm wearing like a bathing suit underneath this one you know and and the cool thing about these necklaces is that they do look like you're wearing kind of a necklace see and i would recommend this one for you ladies if you want to carry that or for you men if you like to carry in your boot or in your neck oh, when it's not construction it's planes let's go to the next one okay guys let's unbox the sokoke i hope i didn't butcher the name it could be sokoke pretty sure it's sokoke who knows uh i got the black linen micarta version also this one is the damascus style which i'm really excited about again as always cvd comes with all the beautiful packaging with the little um pouch with some protection for your knife i think cvd does a great job when it comes to packaging this one is pin pin the designer for this is ray laconico and i can tell you right now this one has a thumb stud as an opening mechanism as well as a front flipper front flippers are a little tricky if you're not used to them especially if you're like not into carrying a lot of knives or if you're new to the industry you know it might be a little tricky but i do love that they have doubled it up in case you know you really really do need the thumb stud wow that was smooth i like that the design is so cool it has that that um black linen micarta that looks really neat you guys and i'm glad i'm doing this um opening live because you miss a lot of my initial reactions when i actually open the knife first and then i do the review i love that i love that it's so smooth i really love it and the design is amazing um so yeah first reactions are really really good now the front flipper again you kind of have to like flip it like that you can use your thumb to do it um my nails are kind of too long for that to work to be honest and my hands are kind of too short so let's just not struggle with this now um love the thumb stud it's really cool it's really smooth to close it as well so let's talk a little bit about that of course let me tell you this smooth action is because of the ceramic um ball bearings uh which that's like the pivot assembly and it makes it so sweet cvp has that to their knives it's just like fitted fidget factor to the moon it's really good looking it's affordable i i love that you know and again you can get a damascus knife this one retails for 110 okay let's talk about the handle linen micarta with black hardware it has the the c the cvp logo i like cvp because it speaks to my name I'm Carla, so the C is kind of cool for me. Um, deep pocket carry cup as always. It's thin, simplistic, subdued. You know, it's something that you, it will look good in jeans. I really like that. Um, it has a lanyard hole as well right there. Micarta, soft, ergos, amazing, amazing ergos. That really feels super good. The micarta is really soft, but it also doesn't feel like it's going to like slip. So I really like that. Now, let's talk about the blade. So the blade, uh, as I mentioned, Damascus, uh, it has a drop point. It has the Ray Laconico signature right there. Really nice design. Very, very well done. It has some jimping here, thumb stud as well. And let me give you measurements for those interested. Uh, the blade length is 3.35. Overall length of the knife is 7.7. .7. It weighs about 3.2, 3.5 two ounces you guys <laughs> i'm gonna start spitting here soon um again what a great knife for left or right hand carry tip up pocket clip i think that that was self-explanatory but if you're new to the channel every month i provide reviews of cvv's latest releases at the beginning of the month so please go ahead and check them out i have a playlist that you can check out of um all really cool knives if you're into folder fixed blades otfs etc just check out all my playlists i think you're not gonna be disappointed again if you like what i do consider subscribing liking and commenting on this video and check out cvv and use my code to save some money i hope you're having an amazing day and i will see you guys soon in another review and now for the close-ups because i tend to play too much with the knives while i am reviewing so i would rather you see it correctly Okay, that was the circulus and the sokoke or the sokoke. <laughs> How do you think it's pronounced? Let me know in the comments if you made it this far.